to cover it up with my finger. Seriously. They're going 90 yards. Oh my gosh. All right. So it's been a little over an hour, I guess, again. And the dogs started going up. The trail is down below, but I'm not showing it to you because maybe you saw it by now. Because I don't want you to recognize the place I'm hunting in because I was told that's not what real bear hunters do. So don't read no, no names of creeks and hollers and whatnot. Just watch the dogs and see what happens. Well, maybe nothing will happen because Boots is coming back. Oh no, she's not coming back. Or maybe she's coming back. The hound in training. Update and what's going on. So where Boochie and Sever went up, Boochie, they both lo lost the track. If there was a track, man, I keep showing you. I need to do something about this. But anyways, um, then Sever came back and kind of hung out, hung around here, and then found where the track was going out and followed it, and followed it till he got there, and now he's showing treed. But again, I don't hear, it's too far to hear him barking. And as always, I didn't tighten the collar enough for the bark detect to work. So we're gonna go back a little bit, try to get a little closer to him. Maybe we can hear it. Let's see. So, Sever is barking up there. Again, uh, the downside of that thick fur is Hey, the downside is that I really need to tighten those collars for the bark detect to, to work. And uh, he's barking good. We can hear it, barely hear it so far, but he's right above us. I'm not, I'm not showing you our location because it will disclose the name of the trail we're on. And uh, as I said before, certain people will be mad at me. So anyway, so now we need to decide whether we're going to go up and look at that bear or, or call him, call the dog off and go home. What do you think? You want to climb? Yeah, go. All right. He wants to, he wants to go up. Man, that's a thousand, well, 800 feet elevation gain. It's weird because... I can hear it, but she's also looking that way, but I think it's the echo that bounces off that side of the mountain. Anyways, I guess we'll start climbing. All right, so Booch is going. She must have heard Sever. Yeah, I can hear him. I mean, that's funny, because we have this little finger set between us and Sever. And so I can hear it bouncing off of there. So, but he's actually there somewhere. But Booch is going to get there in a second. And of course I didn't tighten, I didn't check her collar. So chances are her bark detect is not, and detect is not going to work either. But, but we'll see. And I don't really have much faith in the little hound. He's just not experienced enough, but we'll see. All right, Bucci is almost there. If it wasn't for those scratches on the screen, you'd see, you'd be able to see a lot better. I have... That's, I don't know who that was. I think it was, oh, that's Bucci, isn't it? So Bucci confirming that it is a bear because 
Yeah, it's Booch. All right. Let's do it. It's less than 500 yards. No big deal. Phew. Plenty of time. It's 399 yards. So you may have read online on Facebook and whatnot in the comments on my page. A lot of people say, oh, don't go with Alex. He's got long legs. He's going to walk you down to the ground. I can barely catch my breath. And you're keeping up just fine. So all those people that are saying that, they just haven't been out with me, I think. It's, we're taking our time. We're not concerned about the bear going anywhere, at least until he actually sees us. When he sees us, he might try to jump. But even if that happens, the dogs are gonna catch him again. So I'm not too worried about it. But we're taking it slow. You can hear the dogs now. All right, let's go another 15 yards and we'll take another break. Sounds good. About 300 yards left. We're getting there. Oh, no, 345. We got it. We're three miles away from the truck. Just three miles away from the trailhead qualifies backcountry. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I mean, look, look at it though from here. Yeah, and actually, until there's a road. No, well, I don't think three miles is way. But uh, I'm looking at the clouds with my naked eye and through the lens, through the screen. It actually looks much better on the screen. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it turns out. Anyways, let's go see, let's go check out that bear. I think it's a small bear. I think I may have said it already, but we'll find out. So we're about, about the same elevation as they are. Just gonna go up and try, hopefully we'll find a game trail that goes on the same elevation. And we'll see if we can approach quietly. We'll, we'll see what happens. So I got up to the game trail so we can walk quieter. We're gonna to try to get ahead of him, um, I mean above him. So the thermals are pushing our scent away. And we're gonna to try to sneak in. Because we just saw some major piles of poop. It could be the big one that lives up here. Or a, a big one. We're about to find out. I can see him. Come up here. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's just chilling there. That's him right there. And that's, you can see the food hanging down. Well, that, that bear is comfortable. He's not going anywhere, I don't think. So I think that's his bed, and he's just feeding on acorns. I just saw some acorns here, and it's kind of, yeah. And then, so what happened was, just, just like I thought, he came down just before daylight, or right at first light, got a drink from that creek, cooled down, and came back up. And as we crossed the scent, the dogs picked it up. Now, Booch is what you consider hot-nosed. She tends to stay closer to me. Sever is clearly, didn't mind taking that trail. It could have been more than an hour old, but he still made it all the way up. And I think he jumped that bear here. There may have been some, a little bit of convincing going on here, but he didn't go far. What do you think so far? Very cool. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Are you gonna are you gonna learn from this experience or what? He's got scars already. So before I got the male, I was hunting with just the two females, right? And I was so 
so happy with the, the way they were hunting, the, you know, their, their results we were getting. I would say, I used to say, whenever we have puppies, if those puppies work half as good as that butcher that's barking right now, I'd be happy. I mean, because they're just, I love it. Well, and now look at Sever, the, the sire of those pups, did it by himself. Less experienced, much younger. Still did it. So what do you think? It's awesome, yeah. No, but like, could you tell if it's a male or female? Um, I can't tell. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Plus, face looks a little bald. It's interesting. Well, he still, he probably still has his summer coat. Summer coat, yeah. yeah hopefully, I mean. And we're in the mange country too, so it might have mange, may, may have had mange. <laughs> no way to tell. It's healthy though. Yeah, it looks healthy right now, yeah. But, legal. Not like this, this was a kill season. Would you decide to take it? Be honest now. If I could treat, uh, if I could treat him like this, yeah. I'd probably pass. Okay. <laughs> now, like at this stage in my career, I would definitely pass. And in fact, if someone was with me, I would try to talk him out of it. But in the beginning, yeah. man. That, yeah, that bear would have been in the pack, but hopefully. The next thing I need to learn how to tell if it's a male or female, and I just, I'm not good at that. But sometimes you can, it's easy, but when you see their, you know what, but anyhow. So that's Butch and Sever down there barking. Sever treat him by himself. I'm happy. We will probably treat another one on the way back to the truck. We're, that's the little hound. He's still young. He'll learn. That's a cool thing about this. You, like in the situation, if you wanted to pass on this, it's a lot easier than if you're sitting in a tree stand waiting on one. And True. The one you might see the entire year, you know? Yep. Well, you're talking about tree stand... Here in Virginia, where yeah, we yeah, cannot bait. Trying to get lucky, you know? Yeah, because on the bait side, that's obviously even better. You can pick and choose, but here. Anyways. Um, so the plot did all right. He stuck with Butcher. He even barked a couple times, so that's, that's all I'm going to ask from him. Yeah. We did good, though. We climbed up. We didn't oh, yeah. die. <laughs> we didn't die. <laughs> That's the bear. It looks pretty healthy. Yep, not big. There's the hound. Are you barking at a bear or are you barking just because you decided to bark? Anyhow, so we're going to release that bear this in this direction. So I'm going to set up the camera, the camera in slow motion somewhere here, hoping that he's going to run past it. And then we're gonna grab the dogs. Look at that guy. He's, he's doing this thing again. And then we're gonna pull the dogs away from the tree in that direction. Hopefully the bear comes out and runs this way. So we'll see what happens. not bad, is it? A little steep. <laughs> yeah. I mean, some place it gets even worse, but this is unusually, this is a little, today was a little uh, more challenging than, than typically, especially in this area where it's not that crazy, uh, no Real, serious rock walls, like in southern West Virginia, cold country. But uh, still a little challenging. So this is how it's typically done. Look, 142 is from us. From the trail, it's probably 100 yards. Um, 
Just like that. We actually. Love better, love better <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it should be done. Not what what happened earlier, but what just happened now. So we're just hiking back to the truck, and then Booch barks, and then they chase him up 100 yards. We hear a bear climb up. We can hear the the claws, you know, scratching the bark. Um, so they are 142 yards. I think we can make them 142 oh, yeah. yards. <laughs> How big? About the same size, maybe a little bigger. Okay. The last one. All right. That's Boucha and Sever. That's a good sized bear. And the reason Sever doesn't bark as much because he's breaking branches. That's what he's been doing. So every time he goes quiet, that means he's, he's you know, breaking branches, stuff, breaking stuff. Just, yeah. Right. Probably gonna let him. I mean, yeah, those paws look pretty big. Yeah. Good size bear. By my standards. Yeah. That's Sever right there. Not in, not in a hurry to go, but it's all right. Oh, yeah. All right, hold him. Come on, Sever. Yeah, yeah, you go in there. Why don't you go in there? Yep. Now, this little guy, can you catch him? Because he doesn't like going in. Because up until recently, he'd been throwing up in the kennel, in the, in the box. And so he doesn't really like riding in the, in the box. So when I try to put him inside, he tries to run away from me. But not this time. Hey now, you behave. All right, so let's see what we did. We did, you and I went almost 10, 9.8, nice. say 10 miles, and the dogs did about 15 miles. <laughs> they didn't really run too much, which is, you know, it's kind of a good thing because some like hunters want their dogs to range out left and right, looking for game. And I'm like, I just want you to stay on a trail or in the ridge top, wherever we're walking. And if there's a bear, then retain, conserve all that energy.
when you find a bear, put all that energy into that bear and train in hundred yards instead of wasting their energy going left and right. Like I take it up on myself to take the dogs to where bear might be. And it's working out for us. So awesome. tell me in a awesome couple words. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, I enjoyed it. That's good. Will you do it again? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, of we'll, we'll try to do it. I might have to consider Lycus. <laughs> yeah, I know. And so should you consider getting the Lyca. Like that. Oh, and all the puppies comes come with a sticker too. Free sticker. Okay, bye. <laughs>